Okay, I'm back. So I'm taking off the plastic. Um, man, it's wet. I just want to put this off to the side. And now I'll put it right here for now. My office. And then over here, you can probably see this is my book. This is how I keep track of my, uh, like my growth rate of my seeds. So let's twist this around. All right, so my basil wants to go in a bigger home. So what I did was I pre-soaked these cups and um, I kind of pulled back the fabric because I found it, it was too isolating. So I pulled back the fabric on all, just this area here. Okay, so tomatoes, basil. So I'm gonna fill this up with basil and I don't have too much basil. So I don't think this section will get filled out. Now, how many basil plants do I need in my garden I will do an herb garden on one end of my, I'll do one row in, on one end of my garden. So I did maybe seven plants. I'm going to grow, how much, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Let's do twelve. Let's see how many we can fill up. How about that? So regular basil, move aside. Let me check the lemon basil because I didn't give it a, oh yeah, we have some. I only have one, two, oh, I see them starting. Okay, that one came out of its shell super quick. So you're going in. He wants to go. He's the strongest. Wow, these grew so fast. I am amazed. So when I do this paper towel method, I want to get them so early that they don't embed their roots into the paper towel. Otherwise, I'm pulling on the white root to the point where it snaps and then I'm screwed. So this is such an early stage for me to extract the seed easily. Sorry, the seedling. Seedling? Come on. Early enough for me to transplant it. Like I didn't, it didn't even embed itself in the paper towel yet. So let's do, let's go this way. Okay. Last minute changes, last minute. Okay, you stay put. You enjoy your new home. Oh, I don't wanna crush it. Let's add some water. It's very important that I don't submerge that leaf. Oh, it's tricky. Do well, little guy. You're the first one. You're one. All right, number two. I'm still going this way. I'm just jumping to the next one because I want there to be two rows of regular basil. Ooh, you're a two for one. Okay, so I don't want to mess around with the head. Again, I want it to photosynthesize. I don't want it to touch the dirt really. Because I also don't want it to mold. Last year I had an issue with algae and mold with my basil. And I started a lot. So I was experimenting. And I had enough. Like the basil grows so slow in these cells, by the way. So that's why I had accumulation of... Um, they grew slow. And then I covered them with a white dome and that, that uh, greenhouse effect happened and it was just too wet. And then what happened was 
There is algae growth. Oh wow, this one's stuck to the paper towel. I want this one. A little resilient one. I'm gonna have to tear the paper towel on this one. There, I got it. You're good. I'm tearing you whole little guy. That one was worth it. Oh, this one's stuck in the paper towel too. Did I break it? I did. You fight for your life. You stick around, I have hope. I love like the good clean grabs where like nothing breaks and I have little contact to the roots as possible. Yes, okay. So I'm giving a tug on these some and they have embedded themselves in the paper towel already. So I don't wanna risk breaking them. So We'll do a two for one. You guys are twins. You can live together. It was meant to be. And then, are you embedded? No, good release. Perfect. Another successful transplant of basil. And then, Oh, ooh, embedded in paper towel, that one is. That one is embedded. Oh, damn. I lost one. I tried to pull it out of the paper towel, but I was unsuccessful. Darn it. I just have to take them out because there's still more seeds to go around. And I don't want to get tricked the next time I come in and extract the seeds and pick the ones that I've already broken. All right, so, geez, do I wanna do one more row? I kinda do. Basil is very important for me to have, so let's do it. I need lots of basil for making my pasta sauce. So, like the tomatoes, um, I take care of the basil very well. Let me make sure I have a lot. Because I like to pick a lot of basil. Let's see if this little baby munchkin can grow in this under these conditions. How about you? Yes. Yes. Mm. 
Just one drop is all I think it takes. Uh-oh. Let's fill up that row. All right. So you were stuck in the paper towel. You, I must discard. You're such a good one. Why do you have to be embedded? Let's see if I can rip them out. It's the only way to get this guy. <gasps> yes! Get some water on it, allow itself to embed its roots around the soil, and then how many more can I get? How about this one? Man, you're embedded already? You're so tiny. Shoot. I was not successful on that one. Oh, there's one stuck to my pinky finger. Let's see if we can throw them in this cell. Oh, darn it. You know what I was doing? I filled up the entire... Hmm... I already filled up. I started switching. Oh darn. Oh geez. Yeah, your one, your one, your one, your one, your one, your one. And then I started putting them in here by accident. And I wanted to put lemon basil in there. Okay. Now I must tag this before things get confusing. So this is regular. Basil, and then the date, I'll just do it, 3, 14, 21, there you go, and right here, here we go, just gonna get some, oh, oh there's a seed on my finger, I'm back, alright, let's close this up, and check out there's only one lemon basil spurting, but I'm gonna take it. This is long chili. Just close the cap on this before it dries out. Pimento, what is this? Lemon basil, aroma. Where's my regular basil? It'll come up. So let's, oh, there it is. It's underneath, there you go. Let's move the camera. Alright, who's awake? Who wants to go in some soil? I do do. Just one. Oh, this is a delicate process. Please do not be stuck to the paper towel. To which you are, of course. So, I'm going to rip the paper towel around it and extract it like that. There you go. is not giving up on you. And there's two basil seeds right here. I'm just going to plant them directly into soil now. And then this one gets its new home.
I think that's it. So now I'm all done. I'm all done. I don't have to transplant anymore. I mean, I could. I see some lemon basil ready to start, but I'm going to wait until they establish better root system and then I'll transplant them. So back you go. And then what I want to do next is start some sage. But before I do that, let's have a peek at the pimento peppers and see if they're starting. They have not started yet. Echinacea, have you started yet? Yes, you have. Oh boy. I need to start some more cells. So let's do that together right now. Actually, I'm going to make a separate video. Actually, you know what? No. Pastas take a while, so that's to be expected. They're not ready yet. Okay. I'm going to cover this back up. And place it on the indirect heat mat and then this guy I'm going to cover up where is my covers oh no I left them all in the greenhouse darn it oh wait no 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 they're right here duh I'm just going to cover it just like that and then this is gonna go, oh, now they can go underneath my grow lights. So, let's see if I can show you guys me doing that. Oh, I don't think I can. Eh. gonna put it over there under the light. So now they can go under the light and that's what I did. Um, I uh, put them so I have um, these lights set up in different at different heights. And this is the one, um, this is the one light that I set up that's closest to the like tabletop. So I want the light as close to the plant as possible because I don't want a lanky or a long stem and then the leaves start to grow and they get too long. So I want the light close to the plant as possible. Ideally, I think I want it even closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, place a second tray underneath this one and stack it up so it's closer to the light. I want it up like this close. So I'm gonna do that now and get that taken care of. And then now I'm just gonna start my sage and a couple other seedlings. I'm gonna do a paper towel method and um, I'm gonna document it and I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. Um, I know this is a pretty long video and it's unedited. Um, so. I don't mind if you don't like, but please subscribe if you want to see my uh, daily, uh, like my activities of what I'm doing from here in the basement of my grow lab to my greenhouse and then finally to my garden and then finally to plate. This is going to be a whole like full circle thing. Again, these seeds came from last year. I did not get them at the store. These came from my last year. So I'll show you everything from start to finish and how I get the seeds. So bye guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching my video.